Tisha has got to be the dumbest woman I have ever seen in my life. Zero. What's up, y'all? This is be your boy, Scotty by Nation TV, and we're here for another review of Love and Marriage Huntsville, okay? It's like 1.17 in the morning, okay? And I'm up here doing this review, okay? I am tired as shit, and I cannot wait till I get off this motherfucker and go and edit this shit, because I am fucking sleepy, okay? And I gotta be at work at 7 in the morning. The things that I do for you guys, okay? So let's get into the review. So the camping trip is over, and Maurice and Marcel meet up or whatever and um you know they talked about the accident Marcel talked about his tummy hurting Maurice don't know what the fuck his stomach is hurting for but it was mainly due to the medication I guess he was expecting him to have a, a hurt neck a hurt leg or something but he talking about his damn stomach hurting so they started talking about um Martel and Maurice was like you know Martel sat there he told us everything and Marcel was like he told you everything did he tell you about the kids and then um you know he was like well, what kids? You know what well, he said. Well, Father Abraham has another son. Basically, Maurice already knew what the fuck Marcel was trying to do in regards to this conversation because, you know, we all know that last week Martel told the people that he had another baby on the way. But uh, Maurice did not want to tell Marceau about that. He felt like Marceau should get that information from Martel, rightfully so. But then, you know, Maurice was like, well, you know, you need to have a conversation with Martel. Both of y'all need to have an in-depth conversation about everything. And they started talking about the 47 acres and Marceau just don't know what to do about that. He felt like he's been burned with this whole situation before and he doesn't want to go down that road. Uh, Melody has this conversation with her kids about black girl magic, about them being beautiful black queens. And then she started having a conversation with her son about how he's a black king. And then she decides to call Letitia on the phone to confront her about the shit that Wanda had to say about her kids. Now, at the end of it all, uh, Letitia really want to act like she don't know what the hell Mill talking about. Like, girl, the live is out there. Martel reposted the live. The Emperor Show posted the live. Everybody seen the live. Your mama was sitting up there talking to Dan, talking about them, about them folks' children. Like, you already know what type of woman Dottie Peoples is, and you want to sit up here and act like you don't know what the fuck going on. Like, Letitia is so fucking dumb. This is the dumbest broad I have ever seen in my life. She's so fucking pretty, but so fucking dumb. Like, I've never seen nobody be that motherfucking dumb before in my life. But then again, her mammy dumb. So what the fuck can you fucking expect? Like, you really don't be thinking that your mama is in the wrong for doing a goddamn thing, but when somebody call your mama out, they are they are in the wrong. Like, Letitia, please go to hell. Go to hell and burn eternally. I am so sick of how dumb you are. Then, you go invite Melody to this bash that, inc that includes the kids and the girls. Well, basically includes the females, the girls of the family, and you want to you want to say that you're going to send information to Martel. Why would you send information to Martel when it has something to do with girls, regardless of the fact that you don't like Melanie or you and Melanie have an issue? If this is a girls event, why would you invite the father? Why wouldn't you invite the mother to the event? Like, girl, and then you go say, well, you could drop the kids off. Why the fuck would she want to drop her kids off with you and your mama just got done talking about them on motherfucking live? Like, what like what what sense does that make? But then again, you don't know what the fuck sense is because your mama don't know. Shut the fuck up, Letitia. So then Letitia and um, Marceau discuss the car accident and all of this other stuff and how it's 2020 and she's just glad that he's okay and how she felt some kind of way because she wasn't around when he was in the car accident and how she could not be there, okay? And then she asked about body peoples and how she left them alone for, for four days and, you know, she took the kids to Birmingham after he decided that he was going camping. Dottie People shows up and her and Marceau get into a whole another argument again and Letitia is only trying to check Marceau. She's not checking her damn mama. Letitia, go to fucking hell. because You and your mammy, okay? Because both of y'all get on my nerves. You get on my nerves because you dumb as fuck. Your mama get on my nerves because she don't know how to keep her nose out of other folks' business. And she ghetto as fuck. And I can smell the pump it up through the screen every time I see her damn hair. So she really doesn't want to sit the fuck down, okay? Like, girl, like... 
Correct your mother for once. Why are you always correcting Marceau? Your mother is disrespectful. But then when your then when your husband get back with your mama, you can't take it. You talking about he's disrespecting your mama, talking about I would never talk to your mama like that. I would never speak to your mama like that. Maybe because his mama would never speak to you the way that Dada Peoples speaks to him. How dumb can you be? You are dumb. You are dumb. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you, you're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. Like you're fucking dumb, but your mama is too. Both of y'all dumb. Martell me so with Chris, and she and he gives some bad news. He can't sell nothing. This divorce has really put a bit damper on his pockets. He can't sell his land. He can't do nothing right now. And I kind of feel bad for little Martell. <laughs> no, the fuck I don't. That's what the fuck you get, okay? Everything that comes up, you will see it coming down, bitch, at the end of the day. Like, you had a whole affair on your wife for five years, got this bitch pregnant, and now everything that you got is crumbling at this point. While Mel is sitting on her throne, not thinking about your motherfucking ass. That's exactly what the fuck you get. You thought you were smart, and you thought you knew what the fuck you were doing, and you were not. You did not know what the fuck you were doing, because you look like a fucking dummy. Fuck you, too. You a dummy, too, bitch. So, we at Letitia's event, okay? We at the event. And um, they give this speech about how, you know, how beautiful your brown skin is, the, man, the melanin magic, all that other stuff. I thought that was cute. And then the women go down and sit down at the, you know, sit amongst themselves as Destiny, Kimmy, um, uh, Mel, and Letitia. Now, Destiny brings up um, a, a trip to Kimmy and Mel first. That's before Letitia brought her dumb ass over there. So she wanted to do a retreat. Mel and Kimmy is down for it, but when it comes down to Letitia, Letitia is invited, but she want to ask all these stupid ass questions. She wants to know who's all going. If you know that Destiny is planning it, you know that everybody's invited. Do you want to ask this question about um, can we drive our own cars or whatever so we can leave if we want to? Mel decides to get up and walk away. I would have got up and walked away too because Letitia is very dumb. That's number one. I think we have that established. She's a dumb ass and she's a passive aggressive ass motherfucker too. She know exactly what the fuck she was doing when she asked that question. You ain't you ain't fooling nobody but yourself, you dumbass. I only reserved the bitch word for the basketball wise, but you already knew where I was going with. While she was gone, Destiny decided that okay, look, you and Letitia need to have a conversation. I mean, you and Mel need to talk. Like y'all really need to get past this shit. At this point, y'all do. Like for real. Like y'all really do at the end of the day. And Melanie came back. She pulled Letitia to the side and she said, Look, I'm trying to move on. Like, you and your negativity, I'm really trying to move on with my life. You need to just move on, too. You know what I'm saying? And Letitia really just don't have a clue. She's so fucking dumb. Like, <laughs> this bitch is dumb, y'all. But they ended up having a group hug or whatever. So, Martell goes to see his mama. Y'all know I love me some Mama Martell. Bring the kids over. I think they was making cookies or whatever. They send the, they send the children away. They start talking about everything that's going on. Um, the mama is like, you know, I hate that y'all going through that. Martell was like, you know, still going around with this elaborate ass lie about how Melody supposedly cheated on him. We well, already know that she didn't cheat on you. You cheated on her. Like, you want to do everything you can to try to make her look bad, but you're only making yourself look worse because you look bad already, but now you look worse because you keep on trying to make this woman look bad. You are a narcissistic, bald-headed ass bitch. I'm sick and tired of your motherfucking mouth and your motherfucking excuses. At the end of the day, you are a bitch-ass nigga. You are ho you a hoe-ass nigga number one because you went out there and you fucked another woman for five years got her pregnant and you think that everybody owe you something supposed to kiss your feet because you a fine ass motherfucker no bitch you a weak ass nigga you a bitch ass nigga you bitch made you a fuck boy and that's just what it is like fuck you okay like stop trying to make her look bad because you look bad but you know they end the, the episode with the kids playing with the grandma and all this other stuff so y'all yeah but y'all this is my review of love and marriage chums video be sure to like rate comment subscribe and share this video and if you want to follow me on all social media it's all at the bottom. With that being said, you guys, I'm out here to my next video. I'll holler at you later. Peace out.